So Ian, it's a 3 0 win against Brighouse. It's a great return to league form today. Yeah, it's excellent. Excellent performance all around. It's probably only the five minutes uh, at the start of the second half it wasn't up to our, our levels, but apart from that, we were, we were excellent for, for today. We fully deserved three points. Um, really pleased with the performance, really pleased with the obviously the, the final result. The biggest uh, thing that I'm, I'm most happy about is the clean sheet. Uh, it's that mentality of keeping clean sheets and not let other teams score. And, and, and sometimes when you, 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 you score your third, you get a bit lazy, a bit casual in your play. And we didn't do that and we kept going back to the end and uh, we kept the standard nice and high. Um, obviously, you just said Jack Watson won man of the match and, and deservedly so, but they were, every single player today had a, an excellent performance. So I'm so pleased for them and it's a good feeling to put back to back wins together. Yeah, so, but what, while we can talk about the three goals, all from different players as well, it was the defence I think was most strong because did Ben Townsend even have anything to do? Is he on the post match warmed up so he can still get some, well, get do some exercise done today? Yeah, look, Townsend has been very good for us, Ben. He hasn't always been like that, but today he didn't have to. The two shots they had the second half were both blocked, so there wasn't one shot that went on target or over the wider the, the goal. So it's excellent by us as a back four. What I always say is the team that defend, we all defend. If, if we're not disciplined with our, our defensive performances, we're going to lose football matches. So it starts with our front three. They have very clear roles and responsibilities without the ball. And then our midfield three again. And then that allows, it gives a bit of protection to the back four who can do their job, which is to keep the ball out of the net. And yeah, they had two shots first half. They had two block shots second half. So it's great to, to the whole team. But yeah, there'll be times when we'll have to call on Ben. But today, um, it wasn't required. So with the first goal, we seem to get a bit of luck because it was initially judged as offside and then judged as onside. Do you think it was onside or do you think we maybe got some bounds from some of the poor referee decisions earlier in well, the year? Well, credit to the ref to, to, to make his decision. He has the final decision. He made it. We, we fought and it felt like from their bench as well and, and the players' reaction, our players and, and uh, their players, that it was a, a, a legal goal that came off their defenders. So... Uh, if Jack was in offside position, he couldn't. He couldn't be called offside because he came off their, de their defender. However, we thought as well that Jack came from an onside position, um, and so did the ref. So, so the goal stood. Ultimately, we better put the ball in the net, which took a dip by a great run inside, um, and we let the ref make the decision. How happy are you to see Ross Goodwin get on the score sheet for the first time this season? Because he has had a few chances this year and he, I think he'll admit he's missed a few that he probably should have scored. That was probably one of the hardest he's had. It one. is the trickiest finish, wasn't it? Was, it? it was a great ball where I took it using the, the zip on the pitch and it was a great ball at the near post. And, it, and what Ross did really well, he just used the pace of the ball in to, to guide it into the net. And it's a great, it's a tough skill that because he could easily come off his toes. So, so credit to Ross. I thought Ross was excellent today in midfield, back to somewhere I'd like. And I've said to him, look, he's, he's got married a massive. Uh, Landmark in your in your life, and he's had his honeymoon, and he's been school holidays. So, Ross is only going to get better and better as the season goes on. But I thought today was a captain performance. Uh, you brought on Oliver Novak towards the end of the game, and obviously he's one of the first players in a while that we've had that come through the youth system and made a debut. Yeah, I thought he had a bright little debut. And what did you think of him and what he can offer for the next, rest of the season? Yeah, we just like said to him, just play your game. We've seen it in training, we've seen it in pre-season, we've seen it for reserve. Just play your game in their half, just don't lynch his shell, be brave in possession. And he took the player on, he pressured the player, he put two great crosses in. Oli's going to be a great footballer. He's still got time physically to mature, um, but in terms of technical and, uh, and also tactical now from working with us, he's, he's, he's got huge potential. So I'm hoping he's the next one that breaks through, along with Luca when he gets back from his match sharpness at, at Maltby. And these two can be players that, that come through the Stockbridge um, sort of pathway. and and, and play many games for the first team. So on Tuesday night, it's a very different sort of fixture again. Dern and District, a step, step seven side, but probably not the most traditional step seven side. Uh, what do you think they offer and what challenge do they pose to the Steels? Yeah, don't let the uh, league they play in uh, fool anyone. They had close to 400 there last night. They have about 600 there against Doncaster City. That's, it's a big club with a big following. They're probably a step five level um, in terms of the players they've got. It's going to be a, a, a huge game. Uh, it's a competition we want to do well in. Um, they'll treat it as a, as a big game, rightly so. We're going to treat it as a big game, rightly so, because it's a cup game. Um, we should expect a real competitive battle on, on Tuesday. And the players, first and foremost, their mentality has got to right, be right. And if their mentality is right, uh, everyone else will follow and win the game. If their mentality is right, then there will be a long, long evening for us, and we could be on the end of it, an upset. So we'll be taking it very seriously. I'll be expecting the players to take it very seriously. We're putting a strong side out. and. Um, hopefully we can progress to the next round. Thanks very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.